I am your father. Just kidding. So, I obviously I'm a Star Wars fan. So today, I wanted to talk about the book that changed my life. So, it's called The Key Person of Influence by Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank and Daniel Priestley. And this book, how long is this? 200 pages. And you have Kevin Harrington's picture and Daniel uh, Priestley's picture right here. But anyways, this is an amazing book, even though uh, what it has like 60,000 words or something like that. And out of the 60,000, probably 20,000 is typos. But uh, just kidding. But I mean, it does have some typos. But here's the thing. When he started this, I mean, I guess I can say this, he was a nobody uh, compared to who he is now today. So in a good way. Uh, and he made lots of mistakes, that's me too, when I wrote my book, and it's full of spelling and everything. But, uh, but it's an amazing book, it doesn't matter, it really changed my life, uh, it gives so much value to you, and uh, it just really, really, really tell you, uh, if you want to start your own business, uh, whatever that is, you just have to be the key person of influence in that field, whatever that field is. And this would actually even show you right here, that's you and all your followers and, and all your competitions and you're the leader of it and you are the center of the circle. It's a cool logo. But anyways, so this book, in this book, it really, 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 I'm going to put it down because I'm going to just keep playing with it. But in the book, um, it's really cool that how they walk you through the whole process of becoming a key person of influence. and. Uh, and, and, and you know what's funny is that uh, the that everything, they even have a, a program that they teach you how to become a key person of influence. And literally it's the book, they're just teaching it to you. So if you if you read this and analyze it, you're gonna able to do this and get way ahead of the, the market and the competition. But it starts with the pitch. So, because you're always pitching and you will always get what you're pitching for. So that's very important to know because I mean, here's the thing, Let, let's say you go out and have a networking event, uh, and this book will help you with that too, but let's say you go out there and then you have to stand up one of those events when you stand up and, and you have 30 seconds and to say something, I mean, what are you going to say? And to put pressure on you, let's say you go out to this place and then they say, this is your chance, you have a business, right? Okay, cool. Uh, you have a 30 second spot, you will be on the Super Bowl commercial, go now. What will you do? Are you, can you do it? So if you, this, the, if you say yes, then you obviously read this book and you have your pitch done correctly. Um, if you say, oh my God, no, or freak out, then obviously you don't have a pitch and you really need to get that done. My pitch got me so much media coverage, got me so much creditability, got me so many clients. Uh, I, I, I mean, I cannot tell you just the pitch itself, which is only the first part of the book, how much it changed my life. So. And by the way, it was introduced to me by Jody and, uh, and uh, Topher Morrison eventually, who runs these classes, or I would say organization. He's the managing partner of Key Person of Influence here in, uh, uh, in uh, Tampa, Florida. But, uh, and we'll actually go see him soon and talk about it But in one of the videos. But the pitch, and I told him this all the time, uh, and if you go to their website at kpi.com, you can also see that how much... It changed my business and my life, and you can see my success story amongst many, many other business leaders in the in this area. Not even in this area. Some people fly into this to to learn more, but you can see all the leaders on the website. And I'm not trying to sell anybody on this. I'm just saying that if you want to start your own business, this is probably where you should start first, and this should be your first business book to read. Okay, uh, after mine, of course. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, so to get back um, to to the pitch. So here's the thing, when you meet with someone, the first 10 seconds they are going to, why you say your pitch, like, uh, let's, say, let's say I meet you and you, you are a, a personal trainer, for example, then how would you introduce yourself? Are you going to be like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm Daniel, yeah, I'm a personal trainer uh, at this gym in Tampa or St. Pete or whatever. Um, what do you do? That would be probably your pitch if you don't have your actual pitch. So, and here's the thing that was absolutely boring. Everybody knows what a personal trainer is. And in this world, the personal trainer is getting a bad repetition just because uh, there are so many of them. Everybody is one now and, uh, and you're just not special. And then, so, so, uh, so you need to, need to get some uh, 
clarity in your pitch and then a credi creditability, but I'm getting to it in a second. So the first 10 seconds when you meet someone, why you're introducing yourself, they are already taking in their head what they are going to say to you. So in order, you need to knock them out of that, okay? Uh, otherwise, if you are not going to do that, they not even gonna remember what you said. You need to be rem remember. You, they need to be able to remember you. You can be also goofy or funny about it or whatsoever, but the point is they need to remember you. So what you should do is uh, clarify what you're saying. For example, I could say, uh, I'm Daniel Neri and I own a gym and uh, I'm a personal trainer. I mean, how many can you name just like that, right? So instead of that, I say, hi, my name is Daniel Neri and I'm a best-selling author and the CEO of For You Fitness. And we developed a high-tech invention that allows you to get a three-hour workout in just 20 minutes. You know what happens when I say that? They are like, what? Is that for real? And what? when sometimes they bring up the book right away too, but well, usually what knocks them off is that, uh, or they even ask, how old are you? Or, or But usually what they say is, a, a three-hour workout in just 20 minutes? <laughs> no, that can't be real. And, uh, and the cool thing is, yeah, and I continue on, by the way, with my pitch, and I would right away say, comes in the creditability and like yeah I mean I can't believe you haven't heard of us uh, we were voted as the best gym and the most innovative company in the entire Bay Area and then they're already like what and if they haven't heard of us sometimes they say oh yeah I remember uh, but then you continue on with the credibility and say and uh, still nothing I mean you may have also seen us in a, in entrepreneur magazine or in the men's journal or business journal or most recently in, in a, on, on the hit TV show the doctors where we showcased our equipment. I mean, uh, I mean, just these that I listed right there, they give tons of credibility. The doctors, National Television, Entrepreneur Magazine, uh, Men's Journal, uh, Business Journal, it's all sorts of credibility. And then if they still haven't seen or heard of it, but usually at this point they're like, oh yeah. And then, then I go with my last one, last two one actually, I also add in. And then and if, if, if they're in fitness, if they're in the fitness industry, I definitely bring this in because we were featured in a, in a movie, Generation Iron 2, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, basically. I had to fix uh, the phone. I'm recording with my phone right now, and the microphone was starting to slide, so I went there to fix it real quick. But anyways, to get back to the pitch. So, so yeah, so right after, if it's a fitness industry expert or, or talking to someone in the fitness, then I right away say about oh, Generation Iron 2, and then, uh, and then that should do it. And then, uh, usually they're very excited by this time because a three hour workout, all this coverage, oh, you must be famous, or how do you do that? Or, or there are some topics, they will definitely remember. I mean, uh, when you lay, this, lay it out this way, they will definitely remember. And, and, and the pictures continues on. I mean, there will be your why, that why you're doing this. Uh, you will talk about the problem that people are facing today, your solution, uh, and then at the end, in a sense, what you are stand for, like we are the no excuses workout solution. So that's something that they can take away with and then they remember you from. And that sense at the end you say the no excuses workout solution for us, it's in our business cards, it's everywhere you go. Um, so they remember it, okay? So, so um, you see how it could change just this, your business, how you network, how you get more clients, how you get more credibility, how to get into media, by the way, this works because I take out parts from my pitch and I actually put it into my media pitches and I get coverage every single month. I mean, at least one magazine, uh, one news channel, uh, one podcast. Uh, those are my goals, by the way. So I want to get into those. But the cool thing is now that I've been doing this for a while, they actually come to me. So I don't even have to reach out. But that's because I've been pitching and you always get what you pitch for. So even when you go out, I got onto, I think it was CBS. Uh, I met with one of the reporters and then I introduced myself and all I did is I pitched and the show was like, oh, I would love to do uh, a segment on you. And I'm like, oh, sounds good. Just let me know when I will be there. And uh, so see how it works. I mean, imagine if I would have met her and I said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a personal trainer and uh, you know, I, I have this machine that I work out with. She would have been like, oh yeah, okay. Is there anybody else here that I should talk to? That's what would have been probably the, the response. Or she right away says, uh -huh. Yeah, well, I'm a news anchor and uh, and I had this show and that and that. So I would have took over. She would have took over the conversation, which is not a problem. As soon as you're done, you're sold, you're done, basically. Of course, you can ask all the, all the questions that you need. But my point is, you need to network like a Casanova <laughs> and uh, you need to have a pitch. Okay, and then moving forward with the book, that's just one little thing 
And just that I think is already very valuable and can make you thousands and thousands of dollars and even more if you use it right. And then the second thing, they're, they're, they will walk you through how to become a key person of influence, how to pitch to media, why you should pitch to media, um, how to, how to, uh, to literally create a circle and in that circle become the key persons of influence and why, and then you make it a small circle, it could be just in your area where you live or work, and then make it bigger and bigger and bigger and you actually become global eventually, just like he did. Um, and then this would also tell you that you really need to be an expert of your, of your work or media or, or whatever that you're in, and you need to write a book on it. And so I did too. And, uh, and uh, it's a must, I mean, uh, and I'm writing my second book actually, and third book. So, so, and I usually don't announce these things. I usually only announce these things when I want to make myself accountable. But since now I just did it, uh, I guess I had no choice but to finish it up, even though the second one is already done. It's not the editor. But my point is, once you learn these uh, concepts in it and uh, create, you're completely going to revolutionize the fitness, or fitness, you're completely going to revolutionize your business just reading this book. And if you want to learn more, you can actually reach out to these people and and their information is actually available for you and they will actually get back to you because they have a program and they would love to help you. So, so you can have nothing to lose. And you know, the other thing is that they talk about in this book is to become Googleable. So I might say it wrong, but I mean, if you type in your name, if you type in my first name and last name, there are tons of pictures coming up, tons of uh, videos. Uh, I, I have articles with Warren Buffett uh, my media coverages and all these things pop up. I, it says that I'm best-selling author and everything comes up. I mean, what comes up when you type it in? Here's the thing, when I meet someone and they say all these things about themselves, I was like, okay, well, I will check it later if it's true or not. So I usually Google these people and if nothing comes up, I don't take them seriously. If they say they are the media experts, which happens all the time, uh, and then I Google them and nothing comes up, or maybe a Facebook picture or something, then I'm like, yeah, he is not the media expert. So. Google is very strong and everybody validates you on Google. Google is like a new Wikipedia. If you're not on Google and you're not showing right, uh, you are lost, okay? At least you lost me, you lost uh, almost anybody that I know. Um, you need to get on it, okay? Um, write articles, get into media, get the coverage. Coverages are the best, by the way, for Google. And another thing is, you need to make sure you don't have some drunk pictures or something stupid about you all over social media and, and Google, because that can actually hurt you as well. Uh, funny story that I used to model, underwear model also. So uh, when I went into business meeting, I already looked young and especially five years ago when I started all this, I was really young, looking really young. So imagine this that I am about to, let's say uh, at that time I was um, meeting with potential partners or, or selling franchise or opening studios and all these things. And when I meet these people and they Google me and then what came up first at that time was my half naked picture smiling at them and you know, in like Calvin Klein underwear and then uh, so then they, I feel embarrassed, they feel embarrassed. So the whole thing was just kind of awkward. I mean, I'm not saying it wasn't cool, but it did not help the business. Uh, and they were, I mean, it, it was, well, I guess a cool icebreaker because some people bring it up and ask questions about it almost all the time. But my point is it should not be embarrassing. Okay. So Google yourself, that's one. And then I feel like I'm forgetting something, but there's so much to this book. You really need to, to raise your profile with this book. And this book actually show you how to do that. I'll just go through the, the chapter so make sure I'm not missing out anything because this book is amazing. I don't know if I, that I have to talk about it more just because you are going to make it happen. Um, all you have to do is just read this book. You won't regret it, okay? And, uh, <laughs> and you know, even when you have like a boring title and you know, no, no offense to like accountants or, 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 or anybody, but if, uh, to you, it might be an extremely awesome job, right? To me, it might be boring, but you don't have to make it boring. You can just pitch it just like I pitched my business. So this will definitely help you. It's a must pick up book, must read book and become a, this is, will show you how to become a key person of influence. Okay. Uh, have fun, pick it up now, uh, buy it, Amazon, uh, and use it. Don't just read it, use what you read. That's the most important because remember one thing, if you, if you uh, let your uh, learning lead to knowledge, you become what?
a fool, but if you let your knowledge lead to action, you become unstoppable and extremely successful. So make sure that you take action when you read this book. It's a must. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week.